Welcome to this channel and its first video of a while now. This is mine twisted. And in today's video, we're just gonna play a couple of rounds in COD. Um, it has been honestly quite a bit of a struggle with the podcast. I haven't really uploaded in a while on the actual podcast of mine. Which has actually one good reason. First of all, I don't really have the time for it. Well, I actually do have some time for it, but it actually takes at least like one to three days to write the script if I find a case that's good to cover and interesting. But I thought, why not just, you know, talk about the podcast, play a couple of rounds, see where it goes from there. Because this is my first video and it has to be something, right? I mean, I can't just record gameplay. There has to be gameplay and something that I'm talking about. So, honestly, at, when I started, when I first started the podcast, the first one, the, the first episode actually, I didn't really know what I was doing, I guess. You know, I just created an intro, researched the cases that I wanted to cover, and I covered pretty much all of the information that I found on the cases which was pretty great i mean it was my first time and i think for the first time i did great like there was so much that i could have done wrong and if you don't know my podcast covers true crime and in my opinion if i would tell something wrong like I would mess something up. That that would be I don't know. It's it's not really good if I could say it like that. I mean, <clears throat> I do. I kind of do have to tell the the viewers of the podcast that if I make mistakes, that if I tell something wrong about the case. That it would be a pleasure if somebody could just, you know, tell me where I kind of made my research wrong or if there was anything that wasn't really appropriate to tell. The whole true crime scene is pretty much... It's... How could I basically tell you about it? Because the true crime, I feel like the true crime section, if you choose that one, there's really a bunch of time going into the research of the cases and into writing the script itself. I don't know why my teammate right there just shot at me, but I guess that's fine. But there's really a bunch of time going into the actual research of the cases and you almost have to make sure that your personal opinion in the case isn't in the actual episode itself and if it is then it's probably the best if you <clears throat> explain that it is your personal opinion and it's not something that's factually Correct. I'm struggling a lot right now because I can't really find the enemies. I just need a better layout, I guess, for the control. Anyways, where was I? Um, it's it, it's it has been hard. Like I covered like what three cases. 
one was one was pretty complicated i'm not gonna lie it has taken a bit of research and doing that all on your own can be hard obviously okay there is someone thank you it's pretty hard to do it all on your own but i did it for at least three episodes and then i don't know what happened but i just forgot about recording new cases and doing all of that because i don't know starting out as someone in the social media world is pretty hard not gonna lie because you pretty much do your own thing and there are so many people that already make their content and of course they have more fans which means you need to pretty much stick out do your thing which can be hard sometimes and it's i guess it's a bit it's a bit hard to keep being motivated to keep creating content for the viewers but it comes with time i guess it does definitely come with time can this guy can this guy just go down it would be a damn good day if something would happen where I kind of get a motivational boost <clears throat> because sometimes it's just hard pause on that one sometimes it's just hard to stick out to create content but everybody dealt with that and I feel like it can be over it can be over in I don't know how long it's gonna take but I guess that's the grind that is what everybody has to go through that wants to become a youtuber or some kind of influencer I mean some start out on TikTok which I can't really agree on because in my research TikTok isn't really a great platform when it comes to becoming uh, someone that is wanting to get paid but TikTok is really a great app to promoting yourself I guess I'm missing my shots. But TikTok is really a great way of promoting yourself, getting clicks and all of that. But it's not just about views or clicks. It's obviously about the passion behind it, about what you're doing, showing that what you're doing is what you want to do and not wish you what you have to do. You got me good. Um. Yeah. And I feel like making that step. Going further than you ever wanted to. Can be uncomfortable I guess. Which I can understand. But it's also pretty weird when you're starting out as a first timer as a newcomer in the social media world especially if you're making videos creating them and just talk about a bunch of things while everything is going down in the gameplay but it's just something that's necessary. I think it comes with experience and 
I'm bad. Oh, shit. I'm bad. That was terrible. So, I'm honestly really stunned because I'm actually winning, even though I'm terrible. That went down really quickly. What happened to the chopper right there? So I think I'm just gonna keep on going, trying to create content, doing it every day, trying to put out as much content as possible so that some video actually pops up, pops off, pops up in some kind of home page of some or a couple of viewers. So, I think this is basically it. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like or I don't know, a comment maybe. So uh, I think we're pretty much done with today's video. Have a great night or day and peace out.